Hey guys, this is Degenerate724 here, coming at you with a review of the Samsung, Samsung Stratosphere from Verizon. Um, it's a mid-range device with a 5-row QWERTY keyboard. Um, in case you didn't notice, I have a, uh, I actually have a um, camcorder here, or camera I'm using here, so uh, I'm trying, I'm still getting used to it, so hopefully this will work. Um, Alright, let's get to it. For a two year price on this phone, you're paying about $149.99. And full retail is $409.99. Um, it re resembles, resembles a lot of the um, Samsung Epic from Sprint, if you remember that. Uh, so I, I'm not sure if I can. I'm not, I can't even zoom in and out in this thing. Uh, I'm going to try to here. If not, I'm just going to. Hold on. Try and get. I'm going to get the um, Epic out real quick. There's the Epic. On the left, this is the uh, this is the Samsung Epic 4G, and this is the uh, Resound. Some different different differences is um, you got Sprint and Verizon. You can actually see the uh, capacitive buttons on here. You actually have to have it turned on. Um, Keypads, um, they're a little bit different. A little bit different. This is more square, and this is more curved and round. If you ask me, I rather, I prefer the Epic keyboard. Though they both feel really good. You can definitely um, text on this. So, all right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get this out of the way. Got a five megapixel camera with an LED flash. Um, oops. Uh, it takes 480p video capture, so it's it's kind of low. Um, it's got a 1.3 me uh, front facing camera. Don't know the resolution. Uh, it's got Android 2.3. I think it's 2.3.6. I think. Let me check for you. About phone, uh, 2.3.5. There you go. Still a good phone for a mid-range device. For a mid-range device, um, much better than the Pentec breakout that I reviewed earlier. Uh, it's, like I said, it's got a five-row QWERTY keyboard, five-row QWERTY keyboard slide out. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just. Not used to this. Um, like I said, I'm recording using my can my new camera, so there it is, right there. Oh, it's got 1,800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, 212 hours of standby and 480 minutes of uh, talk time. And there's the micro stem that it takes. It feels pretty good for a mid for a mid range device. Um, it, it's only got a single core processor though. Um, let's see, what's the uh, one gigahertz processor? Not dual core, of course. It's got only got four gigs of internal memory, so I, I think I got a 16 gig in there right now or something like that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a good looking phone over, overall. By the way, I got the wallpaper from uh, Zedge, which is right there. So, you know, a typical setup for a Samsung phone. It's left and right. Uh, let's see. I think it comes with seven home screens, but I just, I, I, I deleted to make five, so I don't need that many home screens. I mean, it's, it's pretty. A little thick. I mean, it's light though. It feels really good in the hands. Uh, 
with a speaker right there USB port microphone or speaker no that's, that's right microphone the power button headphone jack on um, the volume rockers and that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions um, feel free to comment and subscribe and try to get this to you as try to uh, answer them as much as I can so thanks for watching and take care peace